Hey everyone, this is Joe, and I want to review my NFL spreadsheet tool here for you. Um, this is the latest version I've got out now. It's uh, made a bunch of changes since the first version, so uh, we'll just start from scratch though. What you're going to do when you first get in is put your login in here and press refresh logins. This is just the first time that you, um, that you use it. After that, it's fine. Next step, what you're going to do is always press refresh this week's data. What that's going to do, it's going to pull in all the, uh, like this, the information from, from the web for um, like all the games, it's going to go on the stats tab, it's going to pull in all this stat information, um, to all the players, all their like their salaries from the different like FanDuel, DraftKings, Fantasy Aces, Yahoo, Victiv. It's going to show like their injury status, the weather, the lines, uh, projections, and 2015 and 2014 stats. So we got a lot of, a lot of information that you can uh, go through. Uh, one thing you can do if you press Control Z when you're on the player's name, uh, it, It'll take maybe six seconds or so. Um, I'm still trying to work on, on fixing that a little bit. But what it's going to do, it'll give you right to their, their ga player game log from last year so you can see a little more information on uh, how they're doing. See, you can see all their, um, here's all the stats that they had. Scroll over a little bit, who they played, their opponent, the line, the over-under, the fantasy points. So it's got a lot of information. So there's the stats, and then after you do that, you want to press transfer players. So what that's going to do, it's going to take you to this multi lineups tab. These are all the players, like here's all the salaries, and here's all the projected points. And this is where you get to run your lineups. You can run your optimal lineups. How many lineups do you want? What type of variance do you want? That's just how difference between lineup one and lineup two. How much variance do you want? If you want to stack any teams, you can pick a team and how many players you want to stack. And it, it weights it heavy to stack a quarterback and a receiver. And then which projections do you want to use? I've got um, Fantasy Sharks and my projections in here now. I, I'm going to be expanding it to other projections soon. That's what we have now. And what you do is you press one of these, whoever, whatever type of lineup you want to run. Say I'm just going to run a FanDuel lineup. I'm just going to run one lineup for now. And it's going to, uh, you, you can run up to 200 lineups. It takes um, maybe 5 to 10 seconds per lineup. So what it's going to do, it's going to go through Solver. It's going to get the lineup set, and then it'll it'll send you to the uh, to the lineup page. This first one's just take a little longer. I think my computer is just because uh, it just booted up. But normally it's uh, five to set ten seconds per lineup, and I'm going to work on getting that speed increase too. And there you go. There's your one lineup, and you have that set. You can, I've got to export the CSV file, which I'm going to show you um, shortly. Um, there's a CSV feature where you can uh, import them into DraftKings, and I think pretty, pretty soon into FanDuel. And so this will create a, a CSV pot file. You can also, we got your projections. Say you have your own projections that you want to add in. Say, um, I'm going to this other tab. Say I have all these players. I create my own projections, or maybe I, I belong to a, a site that gives me projections. I can go in here, press Control V, and put all these players in here, and I can upload, add these to the stats tab. And the name has to be spelled right. So say if I had, um, spelled it wrong, Alshon Jeffrey, it's going to show you that it's an error. So what you're going to have to do is go in here like, oh, I misspelled this, spell it the correct way, and then it'll put it right. And then you click add this to your stats tab, and then you can, uh, it's, what it's going to do, it's going to add that <laughs> to your stats tab, basically. Um, it'll probably take about 10 seconds to uh, run through a few things, and there we go. So now, if we scroll over, see over here, so these are your projections, and we added these over here. See Aaron Rodgers 19. We'll go over to your projections, and there is Aaron Rodgers 19. So it, it adds your projection. You can use decimal places too, and so on. Um, let's see what else do we have. I've got buttons up here. If you wanted to see, like, say, here's if you wanted to see more detail. I mean, we've got the summary on here, like, say, 2014 red zone stats. We've got this red zone stats over here. But if you wanted to see more detail just of the red zone stats, you can click this button and it'll take you to, here's just the red zone stats from, uh, this is just from 2014 since obviously there's no 2015 yet. Uh, the last feature I want to show you is the multi lineups 2 tab. What this is, this runs projections without um, you having to pick, uh, sorry, without, without having the projections. This is just based on like how you feel. Like I do my research sometimes and say what you can do, you can go up here, you can put a filter on this 
and say, I'm going to look at quarterback. And like, which quarterbacks do I like? I have to rank them from one to five. I only rank the top couple that I that I like to see. So I'm thinking, um, say, uh, where's Matt Ryan? I like Matt Ryan this week. I'm think, really liking him. He's four. I also like, say, uh, I'll do a search here, Taylor. I like Tyrod Taylor this week. I'm going to put a five in there. Uh, I can get rid of it. And let's see who else. I like uh, Tannehill pretty good. So I'm, I'm going to put um, I'll put a three in there. I, I like him pretty good. Then we just have to go position by position. Running back. Which running backs do I like? Um, oh, I like, really like Jeremy Hill this week. So I'll put a five. Um, if you don't put them in here, they're not going to pick. The solver's just going to look through the people that you have ranked and then just pick a bunch of lineups and maximize the salary up to the, the salary cap. Um, we got Frank Gore. Say I like Frank Gore a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll just give him a one. Maybe... It's, and this is just, like a 5 is going to show up, say you do 100 lineups, this 5 will show up a lot more often than this 1 will show up. And you're going to go through all the positions. You have to make sure you put enough at each position. If DraftKings is doing 3 receivers, you need to have at least 3 receivers picked. And you should do more. Make sure you have enough low, low priced options, otherwise it's going to give you an error because it's not going to be able to find a, a lineup if you have all just top, top guys in there. So what you would do is you're going to go through here, it's going to tell you how many you have selected. You tell them how many lineups you want to run. Say you have three, you could put 10, 20. And then you press FanDuel lineup or DraftKings lineup. I'm not, I'm not going to run it because it's going to take. it would take a little bit of a while um, for me to get this all set up. But that's how, how it would work. And then when it's done, it's going to spit out all the lineups here. And say you have uh, 20 lineups or something. You want to export them to CSV. You click this button. It's going to send it to a file that looks like this. Here's a CSV file. It's going to also save it as that. Um, you can delete this column to get it set up, and then you have a file you can upload into DraftKings, and you're ready to uh, have multiple lineups all set. So that's everything. This took a little longer than I wanted, but um, I hope this kind of explains how this, the tool works. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.